the magazine, while it's great, is, you know, I don't, it, you have your own projects to do. And also, sometimes you need a break from something to get involved in something else to, really, you know, to really get the and creative spark need again. To keep your ownership in your hands and something you created, like, I'm not going to ask you to paint my painting for me. Yeah. You need to keep your ownership in it, which is totally fine, too. But basically, it's, we do put our stuff first. But it's it's just it's a it's an amazing thing happening. People know what goes on. People read the articles. People get joy out of them. We get plenty of great comments. The biggest thing I want to see is more people that can to support it financially. So that to me, and I've said this before in my own articles, money is another way to weave your way through the world. Yes, everybody needs it. It can be your livelihood. It's how you pay your bills. It's how you feed your family. It's what you need to put gas in your car to get around. But the more you have of it doesn't mean the more you can buy a fancy car. It's the way you weave your way for the world. The more you have, the more you can give. Entrepreneurship and altruism, philanthropy, you have it so you can create something else. We've just been talking about some secret great projects coming up in the future. They're much easier to fund when you have something there to fund that so you don't have to add to the pile of doing something you love and worry about the web too. Mm -hmm. Just have, the, just have it out there, you know, already. So that's the only thing I see is we're going to get more done and we're going to have an easier flow when it's more financially sustainable because you'll be able to create more, give more, do more, and not wear out. Now, here's a question. What do you think about my whole attitude? One of the main statements that I make and that I believe, I hate meetings. <laughs> I, I realize that they are an essential part, but it's like I'd rather have a meeting, you know, and just do everything like conversate texting and online than try to get everybody to make the time and the schedules together to have a physical meeting. Now, what, also, what do you think about the fact that there will never be an actual building or office for the magazine? First of all, you hate meetings, but so far during this meeting, uh, I met Carrie Reese, right? Carrie, not Megan, I met Carrie, right? Did I, think, I meet Carrie? Yeah. Okay, I met Carrie Reese, who I've never met, who is another writer. So to me, I'm female. You met one of the world famous I met Reese one of the twins. So to me, Carrie Reese, I just got to meet her, and she just helped me with some stuff on the computer for promotion that I had no idea about. So to me, I know you hate meetings, but meeting, meetings are important in a sense. Yeah. We're humans. There's a computer, and it's very important, but there's humans. I need a handshake, skin on skin contact with a new person. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I do. So. Um, meetings are important to me. What was the other question? I don't even remember. <laughs> We're actually going to wrap this up. So, but thank, in all honesty, you got you three have taken. I've said this so many times. Have taken the magazine in areas I would never have thought of. It's joy. It's it's you know yeah. There's just times that I'm like I wish those kids would get in bed so I can finish that article. Or oh, I'm two days behind. But there's no pressure from Michael. Um, I don't do deadlines for myself. It's really actually very mature, and I wish that more people would run their businesses like this. The only pressure he puts is on himself, which forces you, if you care at all, which is why you're here, is the only pressure you're going to put is on yourself. There's no judging or misinterpreting because that's an agreement at the beginning, and I think more people should run their meetings and their business like that. And also, creative and editorial control, number one, I don't have the time for it. Number two... My whole thing about that is why limit myself? Why, why limit the magazine? You start doing creative and editorial control and okay, this is my idea, this is where I wanted to go, you're killing yourself on that one. And I live in Berks County, so I'm starting to bring a lot of stuff from the Berks County area and even Phoenix, I'm getting some articles from a warm place since we're in winter. Um, I love being able to bring extra stuff in. I don't live in the Lehigh Valley, I do a lot of business here. Um, for art and for music, but I, I come up once a week to get my fix because I live in a very reserved country area and I live on a farm and that kind of stuff near a mountain, so I come up here and get my fix one day a week, but what I'm bringing to it is kind of the outside stuff, so it's kind of me to be you, adding You're more different. of the beyond part than... Uh... I'm beyond. <laughs> which is, which was go. one of, Which was one of my original goals to, you know, eventually, you know, I mean... In the second half of this year, I'm hoping to take some weekend trips, to like maybe New York, Philly, and other places, to start doing, you know, at least, you know, uh, uh, at least one, one, once in a while, to start doing in other areas when I'm doing here to try and, okay, well, right now it's showing the world the Lehigh Valley. Okay, showing the Lehigh Valley, other you know, local side of other areas. So. No, it's it's totally good. Like the biggest thing is we have contributors. 
We have people who highly support this and recommend that we keep going and share our information. We have Especially every time us. we're swimming to walk away from it, something just somebody just says something. It's like. But if we're making this networking and social place where you can find out what's going on and meet other people through it and find out things you gain awareness, why not buy into it and get an ad? Or why not contribute and send us ideas and feedback? It's, it's, it's just one big gathering of people collaborating so come see us if you haven't and it's not a commercial but come see us if, I, if you haven't but if you want have a band or if you have a business a restaurant or something out there that you want um, to make it more easily accessible the awareness that it exists for other people I mean and Michael's very honest even when we do get an account for someone that's going to buy buy an ad um, he says I can't promise you this is going to get people in your business but they're going to know about you you're yeah. going to know about you. It's it's a very neat way. I kind of see those things as like a pool of water, and then it splashes, and everybody gets a little wet. They know all about it. Now, one final question. When you first when we first got to know each other, you first, I first told you about the magazine, What's your favorite? what was your favorite section when you first looked at it? Well, the artist section, because I well, was in it. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other yourself aside, what was your favorite section? I like the music, uh, the videos where you can see clips of music. Like he didn't, he speaks. I think there's a little more dialogue now when Michael writes something. It was a lot of video interviews, but it's a very candid, natural environment. And then when you watch the music, you didn't watch it always from the you know high end section with the people with the press passes and and the real fancy. Or the multi thousand dollar video yeah, camera. Where you can see the band face like up real close and you can see every freckle on the musician's face they're not like that it's more candid and natural so when you're walking through it it's kind of virtual as if you're you just bought your $15 blues fest ticket and you're the one standing there as a as a um, client participant uh, you know participant the person that comes to take this event it, it's not just from this other business like corporate entity world where people are just trying to sell you something is actually what's going on there from from what we want to believe is maybe your eyes when you show up hey and maybe you can afford the na the, the nice uh, press pass area or the VIP section and that's great too maybe we should do an article on that at some point eventually when I have eventually when I have the money that is for everyone this is not something that we have to keep an image or facade to tell people, this is what we are. If you want to buy into our fake facade, here you can come do that. We're right here. Aren't we exciting? Let's talk about that for 10 hours. No, this is reality. If somebody walks by the camera in something, I let it happen. It's Same reality. Here. Yeah. Okay, it's, we want it to be from the eyes of all people, not just the CB crowd. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. I know you got to go. I want to get back because it is... I don't care what that. I don't care what the Wells Fargo digital thermometer says. It is below 31 degrees outside. I don't care what that thing says. It is cold. It is cold. We're supposed to get hit with another major snowstorm coming up. Joy. Um, so yeah, it's thank you very much. And by the way, for the record, and I know some people aren't going to believe this. None of this was scripted. This is a can point blank behind the scenes of Valley and Beyond, in what I call the office, which is pretty much anywhere. I, I right? naturally promote things. That's why people want to hire me, but you can't have me right now unless you have a really good deal and it's something realistic well, for all people. Anybody who's with Otherwise, the magazine, can't work for you. no, anybody's with the magazine, they're not exclusive. If you have something else, you know, that's fine. Do it. I want, I want them to, you know. I mean, eventually, I'm hoping like you, Megan and Carrie, would get picked up by some major publication or, you know, something like that, you know. That pay you good money. I mean, that's... This is a major, major publication that says that I can't write about the stuff I want to write about, that I think is important. Good point. But I just wanted to make it crystal clear. This wasn't scripted. I didn't tell you what to say. This was just, I told you, what did I say before the camera went on, as far as how to do it? No scripting. Don't, don't do you, you said that already, but that's what I do naturally. That's why I have the radio yeah. show, and that's why I bring light to things. I like to put the light in there. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You got a roll, and I got a roll. blankets on horses. It's cold.